Hey, what's up guys? Today we will be playing the game mode of the day called Body Swap. Basically, I'm gonna pick my opponent's god and they're going to pick mine. So, thinking about it, I would like to give them a god I usually have a good time against. But, that's somewhat difficult. Mm, I believe I will go ahead and give them an assassin and looking through the assassins I would most like to just give them a Wheelix, a Wheelix because I don't think she would be that good for this game mode hopefully they are also a dick because I mean that would be lovely I'm gonna be sitting here until they lock in the god they want me to have just look at those jiggle physics while she rides her panther. I, I forgot what his name was. Chunga. Oh, they gave me Chunga. That's not bad. I, I'm not good with Chunga, but hmm. Let's just we'll just see how this turns out. If I do well, I believe I may win. I do have a self heal and a stun. And one ability that will remove crowd control effects from me. So, yeah, I'm not overly worried. My lane clear isn't great, but neither is theirs. I accidentally walked right out of the base. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure what to start with on this particular character, but I'm going to go with this and start working on this a little bit buy some potions actually fuck it just gonna go all out with potions last in lane for a while and since this is the joust map we start at level 3 which is nice and since I don't think we're gonna have a decent time getting a camp we're just gonna go straight into lane. So while we're here, I'll kinda go over some of the stuff about Chunga. She's close range, so she can't do much damage unless you're not too close to her. Like this can only hit that area, as you've seen. My second ability is this heal that also does a little bit of damage. Once I get a good chance to, I'll show you what my 2 is. Uh, so, gonna have to be a little cautious. They can probably hurt me a lot. Okay. No, they didn't... Well, no, I did take some damage, but not enough to worry me. Gonna level up my 1 and use that. Which, if they had tried to damage me, would have negated it. Thankfully, we have range, so we definitely have an advantage over this chick. And due to my passive, I can just send my little Jade Rabbit to base to buy items for me. He can only get one item at a time, and he isn't that fast, but you can see his little icon going across the mini-map. Just look at that rabbit go. I'd rather a tortoise, but a rabbit's okay. We are winning. I'm probably going to send them a, a message apologizing after the match because overall they didn't they weren't really douchey. They didn't try to screw me over. They just gave me a decent god they may have felt like fighting against. I'm not sure. Maybe ask the reason they chose Chunga. I don't know. Go ahead and try to ult on them. We got the kill. As you see, Chunga's ult sends a disc hurtling towards your enemies, stunning everyone in its path, so it is pretty damn good. Seeing as how they're dead, we'll go ahead and try to damage these guys a bit, and then head back to base. Okay, we're gonna head back to base now, because we're out of mana. They probably won't make much progress while we're gone, so I'm not worried. And we could finish off Rod of... 
S L P S I I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. This item does a few things, but the biggest thing about it is it will increase the effectiveness of our heals, which we want. Help us sustain in fights. Go ahead and set up the next item I want to buy for when I'm in store. Your middle tower is under attack. Yeah, they just managed to get to our tower by the time we got back here. Go ahead and send our little bunny rabbit to buy us some boots. This is what you do with pets, people. You send them to buy you stuff. Because, I mean, just give them your money. No one's going to rob you or anything. You don't got much to worry about. Uh, I did forget she kind of has a ranged attack that sends Sugu, that's the name of the panther, flying towards you. Gods and their pets. Damn it. I have a bunny rabbit, she has a freaking panther. Seems fair? Mm. Not really, but I guess a god bunny that lives on the moon can probably hold its own against a panther. Maybe. I'm not sure. I didn't honestly need to use that attack, but we're going to level up our one again, and see if we can do damage. Well, got a basic attack, she's now taking damage from minions. We're kind of low on mana, but they are low on health. I'd honestly rather be low on mana than health. Gun ahead and ult. Won't be able to kill her, but I'm trying to get them to leave lane at the moment. Uh, oh, they actually hurt. That hurt quite a bit. Damn, I was not expecting that damage, so we're gonna back off here. Because I really don't want to give them a kill. Let's see, are there any other items I would like to buy while I'm in shop? I guess I will buy this real quick since I have just enough. This will give us some lifesteal and start us working on any of these four items. The item I'm going to go for is Polynomicon, which gives you some magical attack damage, mana, and lifesteal. Also, after you use an ability, it will increase the damage your next basic attack does by quite a bit. I usually like to buy it on certain gods. I only like it on mages who are kind of close range. On mages who have good distance attacks, I will probably get Bancrofts, because it's better. They're hurting us, so we're going to back off just a bit. Not much. This match is not one-sided, which is fun. They tried to do some damage to us, but we backed off at the right time. Just take care of these minions. Looks like they are going into the jungle to possibly pick up a buff. See if I could do anything about that. Yeah, they're definitely grabbing the attack damage camp. They might have gone for something else. No, not attack damage. Perhaps attack speed? No. I... I guess they might have went for the cooldown camp. I mean, I was really hoping to just catch them off guard in the jungle, but I guess not everything can go your way. I'm a little worried they're going to come behind me, but that worry is... I no longer have to be worried. Okay, they're right there. Get Ouch. So they're kind of taking the lead on me. I'll go ahead and stun them and heal. They almost got themselves killed trying to dive me. A little bit greedy. You don't want to be greedy. It'll probably work out poorly for you. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do that. We managed to avoid any damage from that attack heal ourselves a bit. Still have mana for one more ability if they get in range, which they might or might not. If they do, it's anyone's kill. 
because neither of us particularly have an advantage here. She's low, I'm low. It's really about who can get their attack off, but she's returning to base. She doesn't want a chance of me getting another kill. So we'll clear out these minions and return as well. We're gonna have so much health regain. It's just amazing. So, let's see. I'm gonna buy Creeping Curse, which will reduce their movement speed, allowing for easier kills. If they try to retreat, they most likely won't be able to. She does have a few abilities to give her mobility, but they won't help that much during Creeping Curse. Tried to hit me with Sugu. Freaking Sugu. Just fuck Sugu. Fuck the stupid panther. Er, okay. Looking at them, they went for the attack damage. See if I could fuck with them here. They're running away on Sugu because... I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to... We're going to use our creeping curse. They jumped off of Sugu. Just deal some more damage here and back off. No reason to get greedy. We don't need the kills, but we do need to push our lane. Go ahead and hit them with a basic if we can. As you can see, their basics are a lot stronger than ours. But they are now out of mana. So if we can just do some stuff here... Uh, while I didn't mention it, they do have smite to help them wave clear, which is smart. It would also help them grab jungle camps quickly. This is not a very eventful match. I mean, we're kind of both taking pot shots and returning to our bases, but to even things out a little bit as far as their damage, I'm going to go ahead and buy Breastplate of Valor once I can and upgrade our Creeping Curse, make it a little more effective. Your middle tower is under attack. They are dealing damage to our tower, which is not good, honestly. We're gonna wanna hurry in there, kill these minions. We got a basic attack off that dealt an okay amount of damage. It wasn't bad. They're gonna jump on us, we avoided the damage. We're going to ult to kind of kill minions here. Slice. Okay, they're being cautious. They don't want to be the one to make the first move in a fight. They missed with Sugu. So now we're just going to use that. If I'm not smart about this, they'll definitely win a fight. They just hit me. Just... The best thing I can do is out sustain me. They are possibly baiting me. Nope, they decided to back. They were ready for an engagement, I'm sure. Okay, not quite enough to buy the next item on our list. They might win. They can definitely do more to our tower than we can to theirs. She's riding Sugu and tried to hit us with him. She just used all of her abilities though, so I'm gonna deal some damage and back off. I guess she really wanted to deal damage to us as well, but couldn't. Battle of the Gods, what are you gonna do? I mean, I'm the Fairy of the Moon. Kind of an odd god, honestly, but Chinese are odd people. Okay. Sadly, we're kind of being forced to stay on the defensive. Clear those minions out. Uh, we're gonna send our rabbit back to buy Breastplate. We might end up backing before he gets to us with the item. I don't know. She is probably gonna try to jump on us. Go ahead and do our little moonlit. They ulted us. They also tower dive though, and 
Well, they came really close, they didn't quite manage to kill us. Although, it was a good try on their part, I'm not gonna deny that. They were really close. Too close for comfort, but not close enough. Well, no, they were close enough. We just happened to have our ult, and could stun them before they finished killing us. Now, for this, they don't have healing, really. So we're gonna get Enfeebling Curse, which reduces their attack speed by 30%, which is gonna help us a bit. They also have an item that reduces our health regeneration, which, it's smart on their part, but there's definitely a smarter item they could've bought. Called... Jotun... No, it is not Jotun's Wrath, it is Brawler's Beat Stick. Which, whenever you deal damage to an enemy, it kinda like, bleeds them. Okay, they were coming behind us, luckily I turned around. Just kind of have a standoff for a moment. While we're winning in kills, they're definitely winning overall, simply because we're forced to stay on the defense and they've dealt a decent amount of damage to our tower. If we give them a chance to deal more damage, they will probably take it down. So I just don't want to let that happen. Almost enough that we could send our little bunny rabbit friend to buy us another item. He managed to get us the last item as we were backing. Get set. Okay, we're gonna ult them and use a feeble and curse. As you can see, they're much slower. Get set. We aren't managing to get any kills here, but they are gonna have to recall or risk dying. Not quite a kill. It's really close, though. There's no way they're gonna stay here any longer. Ah, uh, dead. Oh well, we now get to just attack the tower. I'm gonna heal up these minions so we can keep attacking it. We might be able to get it down before she returns. It doesn't look like it. We managed to avoid that damage. Now we're gonna try to get away. I don't think they're gonna kill us. If they didn't. Just gonna keep dealing damage here. I managed to avoid her leap and deal some more damage. Gonna heal ourselves and kill these minions. Okay. They're on Sugu right now, and looks like they kind of want to leap on us. Nope, they decided against it. Didn't manage to hit them with that, sadly. Did hit them with our heal, though. It doesn't do much damage, but it's... It's better than nothing. I'm not exactly sure why they stayed there. To be completely honest... Maybe they just didn't care, or maybe they thought we were low enough on mana that we couldn't do anything. Ah, uh, just, this, there are a few things, but it was a stupid move. Really was. Our next item's gonna be Spear of Magus, uh, which, for each ability we hit them with, it'll lower their magical protection. Which is good since our abilities have a low cooldown, so we can just kind of spam them as long as we have mana. Heal up these guys and start pushing. At this point, we're definitely taking the lead in both kills and tower damage, but they can come back if they want to. If they play really smart and just do things properly, they can win. They're getting a little bit greedy though. I'm honestly not sure why they're doing these things. We're gonna creep in and curse them. Sadly, I'm not sure it actually hit them. They're just getting really bold with their attacks. They were doing much better earlier on, and I think that's mostly because they were just being smarter before. Now they're 
making really reckless moves. Going to try to kill them. Didn't manage to. We're not gonna die, though. They... Okay, I don't know what's wrong with them. They were... They were doing pretty well early on, but now they're just doing stupid things. There's no reason she was leaving her turret to try and deal damage to me. I have much more health than her and healing abilities. So even if I was low on health, giving she's low on health too, it just just not a good idea. We took a little bit of damage there. They use sprint and I guess want to chase us. That was their ult. They kind of just pull us towards them. She's now riding Sugu. We're going to stun her and use our enfeebling curse. I I don't feel entirely comfortable with this right now, but I'm also not incredibly worried. But maybe I should be. They do hit hard. Just heal up ourselves and our minions. We're probably gonna return to base soon, but I don't want to do it while she's so close to us. If we would have hit our basic, there was a good chance it would have killed her. Uh, Wheelix is best... I, I actually can't say much about a Wheelix. I really don't know the god that well, nor do I know how to play them. I can't say I know how to play Chunga either. It's just she's not a very hard god to pick up. Okay, we bought the maximum number of items we can, so now I think I'm going to go ahead and get Sprint so we can run away or chase after them as needed. Overall, we're just kind of set to win. There's not much reason we'd lose here. They do have... Fist of the Gods, which gives any god a little bit of stun. It's... Mm, you'd think it could be used on anyone, but it only works on some people. It sort of works on her, but not in a way that it's an item you'd want to think about getting every match. Managed to avoid the damage from Sugu got an ult and a basic attack, which, as you can see, due to Polynomicon, dealt much more damage. They're not gonna... they shouldn't get away from us here. We can dive them, and... Nope, it looks like we're making a mistake. Sadly, we fucked up and let them get a kill. See what happened there. They used Feather Step and just kinda jumped over our head. It doesn't matter though, we're still in a much better position than them. We're gonna buy a potion of magical might in Kreechaw. Increase the damage we'll do until our next death or a few minutes. They're gonna take our tower though, sadly. No big deal though. It looks like they're returning to base here. So let's just kill these minions. Ugh. Okay, things are still fine. I'm not worried. No one should be worried here. Send our minions in and... While I haven't done it for most of the game, I'm gonna go ahead and try to grab this buff. Okay, now we have a little bit more attack damage. I think they may have gotten the attack speed buff, which is good for them. Avoided the damage, hit them with a basic, and ult. Use an enfeebling curse. Kill these minions here. It looks like they're somewhat questioning engaging us. Like, they might want to do it, but they're not sure it's a good move. Which, it really isn't. But they can still do it. Right now, they have their little magical aura. She's waiting to jump. I kind of figured she would have jumped there. 
Due to Polynomicon, we just destroyed the Phoenix's health, though. Sadly, Polynomicon does have a bit of a cooldown. I think the cooldown is about three seconds. Kill these minions here. And heal ourselves while nothing's going on. Use our... Just... We can take this down ourselves. Your team has destroyed the middle of the They just took a lot of damage. We managed to kill them with our ult through a wall. So, our mittens are pretty far away, so they might get enough time to spawn. I'm not sure. They've decided they'd surrender. Uh, well, GD, GG to them. They did pretty well. They may have won if not for how careless they became near the end. They did manage to get that one kill on me due to my own carelessness and greed. That was our first win of the day. Got some favor. Tell them GG. And thank you guys for wa thank you guys for watching. I will see you all later. Bye.